Hello, I'm Sasha, and today we're going to be looking at the difference between will and be going to. There are two forms of the simple future tense, but there are some situations where you can only use will or be going to, and some situations where you can use both. Let's take a look at the different situations where you can use will and be going to. If you are telling somebody about plans you have already made, use be going to. For example, I am going to visit my family next year. As I am saying this to you right now, I already made this plan before I told you about it. I made this plan in May this year, now it's August and now I'm telling you about it. I already made this plan before I told you about it, so this is why I have to use be going to. If I used will instead, I will visit my family next year, Will is not used if you are talking about a plan you already made. You can only use will if you decided right before speaking that you wanted to visit your family. Let's take a look at another example. We are going to move house in November. Here we are going to move house, but before that, first we found our new house, we signed the contract, we set the moving date for November, and then we told people about it. So at the time of speaking, the plan was already made, which is why we use be going to to talk about plans already made. When making quick decisions, we use will. These are simple decisions you make every day, usually when choosing something. For example, choosing what you want to eat for lunch or dinner. I think I will have pasta for lunch today. A sudden change of plans. I'm a bit busy right now, I'll call you back later. Or a sudden change of environment. It's really cold in here, I'll turn on the heater. All of these situations do not need planning in advance. They are quick decisions that can be made shortly before you have to do something. If your situation or environment changes and you have to make a quick decision, will is always used. You can use both will and be going to to make future predictions, but there is a small difference between their usages. If you are making a prediction based on some evidence, then use be going to. If you are making a prediction based on your opinions or feelings, then use will. Let's say there are two people who will predict the weather tomorrow, Peter and Lucy. Peter is going to make a prediction based on what he feels will happen. He cannot check the weather report, nor can he look out the window. Peter thinks and he predicts it will snow tomorrow. Lucy, on the other hand, is allowed to check the weather report and look out the window. Lucy sees that there are dark clouds outside and the weather report says that it will rain all week. So Lucy predicts it is going to rain tomorrow. So using be going to shows more certainty in your prediction because there is some evidence or research behind your answer. Be careful. You should always add I think, I predict, or I bet before your prediction. If you don't, people can confuse this with a fact. For example, You can use will to offer to help someone. Like, if you see an old lady carrying a heavy bag down the street and you want to help her, you can say, I'll carry your bag for you. Or if a really short person is trying to reach something on a high shelf and you want to help them, you could say, I'll get that for you. This usage is for you offering to help someone else. You can use it to offer your help without being asked or if someone asks for help and you volunteer. For example, can someone help me fix my computer? Sure, I'll help you. Or can someone lend me a pen? Sure, I'll lend you one. You can also use will when making promises to people like, I promise I will be there on time. Or I promise I won't do that again. You could use be going to here, but the promise doesn't sound as strong as using will. I promise I will be there on time sounds stronger than I promise I'm going to be there on time. I promise I won't do that again sounds stronger than 
I promise I'm not going to do that again. If you use will or won't, you can add emphasis with your tone to show you are really committed to your promise. I promise I will be there on time. I promise I won't do that again. You can use will at the beginning of a question to request something from someone. The most popular example of this question would be, will you marry me? You can use the negative form of will to refuse such requests. No, I won't marry you. When making requests, will is not the only way you could request something. For example, if you wanted someone to pass you a tissue, you could use any of the following phrases. Would you pass me a tissue, please? Could you pass me a tissue? Can you pass me a tissue? Will you pass me a tissue? Do you have a tissue? Tissue, please. Pass me a tissue. Each phrase is asking the same thing, but some are more polite than others. They are ranked in order of politeness, one being the most polite and seven being the least polite way to ask for a tissue. Using will to request things is not as common as using can, could, and do. In my experience, the most common requests that use will are 1. Will you marry me? As I've already mentioned. 2. Will you be quiet? This is used to tell someone they are being too noisy. It's not polite. 3. Will you close the door? This is used to ask someone to close the door. 4. Will you turn that down? This is used to tell someone to turn the volume down on the TV, stereo, or headphones. 5. Will you pass me the salt? This is used to ask for items on the table like salt, pepper, or ketchup. Usually, requests using will could be polite or rude depending on your request, so it's best to add please if you are unsure. And try only to use this with your friends. If you are really not sure, use could in all formal requests. The opposite, will not or won't, is used to reject such requests. Simply reply, no, I will not or no, I won't to strongly reject a request. This isn't impolite, but it's a very direct and strong rejection. Someone who has requested something is usually in need of help and refusing to help someone by replying, no, I won't can seem heartless. A more gentle way to reject a request is to apologize and tell a little white lie. For example, someone you hate invited you to lunch. I'm sorry, but I'm busy. Someone you are not close with invited you to a party. I'm sorry, but I have plans. Someone wants to borrow money. I'm sorry, but I'm a bit strapped for cash. We can use will to talk about our future hopes and dreams that are far into the future, like five or ten years into the future. This can be used to talk about goals you want to achieve, like I will get married. I will be rich. I will have a big house. Be going to can also be used if you thought and planned your future goal. For example, I am going to be an actor. I will be an actor. Both will and be going to can be used here. The difference is small, but using be going to implies that you have already decided to become an actor before you said the phrase. If you used will, it would show that maybe you made this decision at the time of speaking. All of these situations can be quite difficult to keep in mind, so I'll give you a quick tip. If you spend a lot of time thinking about a future action or you have some form of plan for your action, Use be going to. If you spend a very little amount of time thinking about something that will occur in the future, use will. There is no perfect set of rules for using will and be going to, as it mostly depends on the amount of thought that you have put into your future plans and decisions. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.